sustainability is a data problem. Fundamentally speaking, the only way to measure, manage, and subsequently reduce carbon emissions associated with any project, you need data. And you need data across multiple silos, which are silos today. We intend to break down those silos. So this is overly simplistic, overly reductionist, but an architect can design the most sustainable building on the planet. The moment that those plans go to a general contractor, that general contractor has different incentives. Those incentives are to build the building as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And then subsequently, when that general contractor hands the keys over to an asset owner or operator, they have different incentives. Those incentives are essentially to maximize the economic value of the asset of the building. These traditional personas have operated in silos over the last many years, the opportunity to connect them and to connect the data, whereby the sustainability data built into the design intent makes its way to the builder, makes its way to the owner, is the only way that we can be more sustainable. So pulling that through line across all, there's other outputs from connecting the data, but sustainability is a significant one. The Nordic countries, in my experience, have internalized some of these principles around sustainability. Um, you look at some of the companies that are operating here, you look at the regulations that countries such as Norway and Sweden and Denmark and Finland have put forth. The Nordic countries tend to be ahead of the curve for the rest of the world and therefore I think exemplary. And so what I think we need to do from a Nordic perspective is tell those stories to a much greater degree. From Autodesk perspective, we think of sustainability and our ability to affect change in three main buckets. The first one being, how are we managing our own business? Are we taking care of our own house such that we can gain that expertise and understanding of how others are doing it um, and do right by the world? So we've made a number of commitments from a climate perspective, from an ESG perspective. We report on those publicly and we make sure that we're doing the right thing as a citizen of the world. The second bucket that we think about is what are we offering for customers? Um, and that's what we've talked about mostly today is providing capabilities and features that enable our customers to deliver more sustainable projects based on whatever their needs are. And then lastly, we think a lot about the long-term trajectory of the industries we serve. The, the manufacturing industry, the AEC industry are carbon intensive. And so how do we put our finger on the scale and help those industries that's how Autodesk thinks about our role in supporting the transition to a more sustainable, more resilient and equitable future.